What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. The series in REI Reply is dedicated to showing you the key features that you need to implement in your business, making it super simple to start taking action today. Let's hop in. All right, so this is your dashboard of REI Reply. As you can see, there are a ton of things you could be working on or checking out as soon as you get started. Training support is obviously very cool. You can get into their training and knowledge base center. They do something every week called Technology Tuesday at REI Reply. Highly recommend for new folks to check that out. Um, their motivated seller tab is basically like here's all their affiliate links. Um, they just started implementing this power dialer, uh, which is really cool. You can buy the power dialer and um, it's, it's pretty darn affordable. The challenge is it's still in beta mode, so I don't trust it quite yet to be doing it full time on there. Um, they have transactional funding, which is crazy. They have a skip trace service. But to get up and going, you don't need to know any of this. Instead, go down to settings. It's in the bottom left here. You'll see that you have a full tab. You, this account was made for this particular video. You want to go ahead and put in your company name, your company email, your company phone number. If you have a website, cool. You can actually build one out on REI Reply as well. Um, if you have a specific niche, you can play that. None of that stuff is that important other than the top three lines. Um, your company address, you update all of this good stuff. Um, and the reason why you want to make sure your company address is up to date, because when you send text messages or any sort of marketing um, or conversations with your prospects or folks that are in your CRM, um, it's going to be in this time zone. So you want to make sure that your company address is correct. Um, and the other cool feature here within REI Reply is you can make calls from REI Reply and it keeps track of your reports, but you can't receive calls. Right As of this recording right now, you can't receive calls. You want to be able to forward the calls here on this platform to, an, uh, to a third-party service. I'll show you that here in a second. But for the most part, this first page is dedicated to your company address, time zone, your company information. If you scroll down here to the bottom, you can enable missed call text back. So if someone calls in on your number and it goes to voicemail, it's, hey, um, whoever, I saw I just missed your call. How can I help? It can automatically send this. You can easily disable that by just checking that button, right? Um, your next piece that is really, really, really big is your staff, okay? So you'll see here on this account, I just have one. If you are running your marketing, you're running your business all by yourself, I recommend with an REI reply, create three more users, create three more email addresses, however you want to set that up and put it in here, you can just simply click add employee. It's free. You can do as many as you want. You can do like Matt, last name test, and whatever your email address is, put your password in. I would recommend creating a few more users in here. If you have virtual assistants, this is where they would go as well. And the reason being is when you set up your campaigns, we're going to talk about automations in the next video. When you set up your campaigns, it allows you to not just have to text message or not just communicate from one account. It'll randomly select in round robin style, so I guess not randomly. If I had five accounts here, it would go one, two, three, four, five, and then back to one, one, two, three, four, five. So that way when you're text messaging, not all your texts come from one number, which decreases your likelihood of getting a phone number marked spam. Okay, so my staff here is important. Creating dummy accounts under users is important. You can edit your pipelines here. You guys can see I have quite a few. Your phone numbers is your next big piece. The cool thing about REI Reply is you're not going to pay anything extra for the phone numbers outside of they're not going to upcharge you. So you literally just pay the Twilio fee, which is a dollar. So you can add a number. I can put my area code in here. So if I put Phoenix 480, you guys can see I have a bunch that I can buy. Sorry, it's $1.26 which is still extremely affordable in comparison to other services. You can buy the numbers, and there you go. So if I had five dummy accounts, I would buy five phone numbers and attach each phone number to each dummy account. Any inbound calls from that number, so let's just take one for example. Show you guys how to set this up real fast. <clears throat> let's just say I bought this one here. Okay, hit save. Now you'll see it here. All I have to do is hit this little pencil icon and I can name it, right? I can do like Matt, account one, forwards calls to whatever number I want to forward it to. I can enable the call connect feature, um, right? So what this does, it'll let you know like, hey, you have someone calling in, press one kind of thing. So I keep that enabled. My timeout duration, I like to do 30 and 30, um, and I do like to record all of my calls. I'll hit update. 
and I have my phone number, right? But you would definitely want to, you want to make sure that all of your phone numbers get forwarded to a number, whatever number that is for you, make sure you set that up because carriers are getting smarter. And if your phone number here is not forwarded to a specific phone number, it will get marked robocaller almost immediately by T-Mobile and Verizon. That is a thing. No one tells you, but it's actually a thing. So make sure you take note of that. Okay, so now we've talked about your business information. We talked about your staff. We briefly looked at pipelines. Pipelines are amazing. We'll be breaking that down in the last video here. Um, we talked about your phone numbers. You can connect your calendar. That's not that important to get started, honestly. But the main thing is your staff and your phone numbers. And then past that, if you plan on sending any sort of emails, you can link your Gmail or whatever. You can link it here within REI Reply. That explanation is probably too long for this video, but they have the support here in REI Reply to show you exactly how to do that. Um, a part of our automations and our follow-ups, we send RVMs, which are ringless voicemails. So like on day five of a sequence, I may send, hey, sorry I missed you. Give me a call whenever you get a chance. That's a ringless voicemail. Also within that same automation, we have emails being sent. So the way that the system sends those emails is because I already have the service set up here. So again, the foundation is super important. With your REI reply, you can scale within this one system to millions of dollars a year. You just want to make sure you take note of the key features. So for me, those key features come down to your, your business information right here, your staff information right here, your phone numbers, okay, and your email services. Making sure that's set up before you move on um, and setting up your automations, which are going to be breaking down in the next video, is important. So, guys, you don't, the system does not need to overwhelm you. It can look that way when there's so much stuff in here, but those four things probably matter the most. And the next piece is your pipelines, but you'll be building those out in automations anyway. So, don't even worry about that right now. Getting started, that's all you need. So, guys, hope you got value from this video today. If you did, Please share this video with one person, like it, comment below on what your favorite part is, what you're going to be implementing uh, moving forward, and look for the next video in this series because we're going to be breaking down your automations and your marketing campaigns. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.